Welcome aboard our steam train that will be taking you on an adventure through the different fields of steam. This stands for science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. We have an eventful ride planned for you all, so please keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train at all times. So all aboard as we embark on our first stop, science. Do a little bit of this. Right. Add a little bit of that. And voila. One last shake. And there we go. Oh, I didn't see you there. My name is Sid the Scientist, and welcome to my laboratory. As you can see, you caught me in the middle of a science experiment. This right here is called elephant toothpaste. No, not the kind elephants use to brush their teeth. It's actually foam, a bunch of tiny little foam bubbles filled with oxygen. This chemical reaction happened because some of these ingredients created lots of bubbles really fast. And since this reaction happened so fast, it also created heat. And us scientists call that an exothermic reaction. And the crazy thing is about this experiment is that you can do it at home. It's made of simple supplies that you can find somewhere around your house, like soap, water, food coloring, and other such things. And if you'd like to try an experiment like this, you're in luck. We'll be doing one later, so stick around. Now, you're probably wondering after all that, what is science? Well, science is all around us. It is the study of nature and the behavior of natural things, and what we learn from them. For example, you, me, your best friend, your dog, we're all made up of tiny little cells composed of elements that let us be here. And we figured this all out because of science. There are people out there whose jobs are to discover these things. Have you ever thought about being an astronaut? Well, they are scientists. What about, have you ever, wonder, have you ever wondered what lives in the ocean? There's a career that does that too. They're called marine biologists. Science can, also, can do so many things like research and learn about plants, animals, fossils, insects, and so many different things. And we can all achieve being our own scientists by using a couple of steps that actual scientists use. If you ever find something really interesting and you'd like to try it, observe it. Then make a question from your observations. After you create a question, form a hypothesis, which is an educated guess, of what you think will happen in the experiment. Then go ahead and test your prediction. Make sure you take notes along the way so you can remember what happened later on. And there you go. You're your own scientist. I hope you enjoy learning about science as much as I have. And if you ever see a science teacher or someone that involves a job in science, just remember what I taught you. Thanks for stopping by. Hey y'all, well if you couldn't tell already, I'm a doctor and you can call me Dr. Dan. I'm so glad you've stopped by to learn about science, one of my favorite subjects that I get to use every day. If you're as passionate about helping people with something you love to do as I am, medicine may be the path for you. Every day I have to meet with patients with a wide variety of problems. And in order to solve these problems, I first must come up with something called a diagnosis. I know it sounds like a scary word, but it is actually the best thing for the patient. After I'm able to diagnose them, I can get to work on figuring out how to help my patient. For any of you who have been to the doctor before, you probably can make an easy connection between science and a doctor making a diagnosis. The doctor will take a sample, run some tests, and come back to you with a solution. However, I bet you didn't know this is the easiest scientific thing the doctor does when treating a patient. I bet you didn't know that when a doctor is asking you questions before taking samples, it's an example of science as well. In order to make any progress as a doctor, you have to ask your patient questions and come up with a potential answer. This process is very similar to the process of forming a hypothesis, what many of you have already done in your science classes. It is only after asking these questions that the doctor will know what tests to run, and from these tests, finally draw conclusions that will help their patient. This thinking process can be used anywhere and everywhere, just like science. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about science and thank you for stopping by my hospital. I can't wait to see what you accomplish in the future. Who knew that the science field had so many different opportunities from being a scientist or even a doctor? I know I didn't, so let's keep this steam train plugging along to learn some more. We are now arriving at our next stop, technology. Hello guys, my name is Programmer Pablo, and I'm here today to give you insight about what opportunities you have in this field. 
Technology is all around us. In fact, I bet you are watching this on a computer at this very moment. I heard you guys stopped by Dr. Dan and that crazy science guy. Well, if you are interested in science and math, then technology is just the career for you. Technology may sound complicated, but it really just uses the science and math skills you have learned to create something useful. It's crazy how far we've come as far as technology. For example, technology is why we're able to have cell phones, computers, laptops, and, well, money. Think about it. If technology didn't exist, nobody would have a credit card or a bank account. If technology were to disappear, then we would have to go back to trading like in the old days. Well, I don't know about you, but that seems like a lot of work. In fact, that is why we have technology, to make our lives easier. There are so many opportunities in the technology field. You can specialize in software development, IT, web development, informational security, artificial intelligence, or even programming like me. On my normal day, I would find what people need in their lives and try to design, test, develop software to solve their problem. I work with other engineers and designers to try and plan out how a program or a machine will work to accomplish the task at hand. I then talk to a computer. Yes, you heard that right, talk to a computer. Computers can actually read different languages, just languages we don't hear on a day-to-day -day basis. As a programmer, you would be able to communicate with them through the languages of Python, C++, and Java. Once you're able to do that, you're able to create mobile apps, websites, and even video games. In my spare time, I like to practice my coding skills with a calculator and a rover. First, I would give the commands to the rover, then would watch the moves it does. It's super cool. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I hope to see you guys in the technology field soon. Technology has come so far, and I'm so thankful for all the things around that make my life easier, like a telephone to reach out to friends and family. Looks like our next stop is engineering, so let's see what a day in the life of an engineer is like. Hi everyone, I'm Elena the Engineer, and today I'll be talking to you about the engineering aspect of STEAM. So basically, engineering is the study of everything in the world from all aspects in the mathematical and scientific realms. We have made the math books you use in your classrooms and the airplanes you use to go on vacations. So you're probably wondering, who are these engineers? Engineers design, build, and test their projects, like bridges, tunnels, roads, vehicles, and buildings. More technically, we are professionals who invent, design, analyze, build, and test machines, like crazy cool gadgets such as the compass to find treasure, and even the cell phone and or computer you're using to watch me now. We also have to make sure that the things we do are safe and costly, meaning they don't cost us too much or too little money to implement. Let's take you on a trip to explore the amazing world of engineering. I specifically am a resources engineer, meaning that I work with the study and management of equipment, facilities, and techniques that are used to manage and preserve life's most plentiful resources. In Bakersfield specifically, we have an ERA and Mount Poso facility. Here we explore the various ways to implement these energy sources of oil and biomass into our daily lives and make sure that we can develop our community safely. I hope you have learned more about the engineering aspect of STEAM and are excited to explore. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for teaching us a little bit more about engineering, which is a mix of both science, which we learned about earlier, and math, which we'll be learning about shortly. Looking at our stops we've already done, science, technology, and engineering, so that means it's time for A in STEAM, which is the arts. Just in perfect time, because we're arriving at our destination now. Hey everyone, my name is Allie the Artist and I will be teaching you all about the arts. Let's begin by talking about what the arts are. The arts include music, singing or playing an instrument, dancing, acting or theater, and visual arts, which are painting, drawing, photography, architecture, and so much more. Art is all around us. I bet you don't even realize it. Every time you listen to your favorite song on the radio, watch your favorite movie, walk into a crazy cool building, see an advertisement for the newest video game, read the newest edition of your favorite comic book, play with your favorite doll, or put on your favorite shirt, you are experiencing art. There's art everywhere. Now, if you would want to join me in making art your career, here's what a day in your life might look like. As an art teacher, my life is never boring. I spend most of my time working on art pieces while encouraging my students to think outside of the box and take risks with their art. Art allows you to find your voice and identity, which is really cool to see in my students. And one of the best parts of my job is that I get to bring joy to people's lives by creating art for them. There are so many possibilities in the art field which allow you to be creative each and every day. If you have a passion for being creative, the arts is the path for you. Thank you for stopping by the art studio today on your trip on the steam train. I hope you look to create a career for yourself in the arts. After that, I feel like picking up a paintbrush or a microphone or even some dance shoes. 
Same here. Our trip is almost done, but we still have one more stop. Yes, that's right, Reese. Last but not least, we'll be arriving at mathematics. Hey everyone, I'm Aaron the astronaut, and I'm here to talk to you about mathematics. Math is the abstract science of number, quantity, space, and change. Math is all around us in everything we do. It is the building block for everything in our daily lives, including mobile devices, architecture, art, money, engineering, and even sports. Perhaps you've seen astronauts working on the International Space Station or heard about NASA's plans to send humans back to the moon. Or maybe you've been following the ongoing exploration of Mars and want to visit the planet for yourself one day. If so, NASA is looking for individuals with a degree in mathematics or even other STEM degrees like engineering, biological science, physical science, and computer science. If you're in high school, middle school, or even elementary school, now is a great time to explore all of these fields by taking the challenging math, science, and computer programming courses. You should also consider joining a school or community math, science, engineering, or robotics club. Astronauts perform many tasks as they orbit Earth. The space station is designed to be a permanent orbiting research facility. Its major purpose is to perform world-class science and research that only a microgravity environment can provide. The station crew spends their day working on science experiments that require their input, as well as monitoring those that are controlled from the ground. They also take part in medical experiments to determine how well their bodies are adjusting to living in microgravity for long periods of time. Working on the space station also means ensuring the maintenance and health of the orbiting platform. Crew members are constantly checking support systems, cleaning filters, and updating computer equipment. Similarly, the Mission Control Center constantly monitors the space station and sends messages each day through voice or email with new instructions or plans to assist the crew members in their daily routines. Only 565 humans in history have flown in space. I hope you'll soon join the select group of people. Thank you for stopping by the spaceship today. Wow, I sure learned a lot today. Me too. Now let's put what we learned to work. That sounds like a great idea. So get out your science experiment and we're going to make a lava lamp. That sounds awesome! Okay, now first I'm going to show you the ingredients. First, you need vegetable oil, two-thirds cup of water, a 16-ounce clear water bottle, alkyl seltzer tablets, food coloring, and a funnel. Okay, so our first step will be to take the cap off the water bottle. We will then place the funnel into the water bottle. Then pour our two-thirds cup water into the bottle. So your next step is going to be taking the funnel and putting it into the bottle that we already have full of water. And you want to take the rest of your oil and fill the bottle up with oil. So just do it like this, slow and steady. There we go, and that is it, you guys. On to your next step. All right, our next step is to add the food coloring. So take whatever color you want to do. Today, I'm going to use blue, and we're going to put five drops into our water bottle. All right, so one, two, three, four, and five. For our final step, we are going to swirl our bottle to make sure that everything is mixed, and then open it up, and we're going to take two Alka-Seltzer tablets, And you're going to want to break them so that they fit into the top. Uh, top. And then once they're in, close the lid and your lava lamp should be activated. And watch the alka seltzers separate the colors. Thank you so much for coming along our STEAM train today as we took you through science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. What was your favorite part? Do you want to grow up to be any of these things when you grow up? Go ahead and type it in the chat. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Now we're going to answer some of your questions.